Hi everyone, my name's Kaylin and welcome to this very special episode we have for you today. We are going to be focusing this episode on media creation. So what exactly are we going to be doing today? Well, we are going to be using our creativity today to build our own videos and make some 3D creations. So we're going to be using two really pieces, really powerful pieces of software that are available on all Windows 10 devices. We're going to be using Paint 3D and Video Editor. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you three really cool tasks that will keep you busy for a few days and really get you to showcase all of that creativity that you've been building up over these few weeks. Okay, so in Video Editor, I think that's kind of self-explanatory. We're going to be editing some videos and some footage that we create. But what exactly is Paint 3D? So some of you might have seen or played with on your computer an app called Paint. And I know I definitely spent a lot of my childhood um, creating different things and drawing different, different things on Paint. And Paint 3D is something similar. You're able to create these 3D objects and then you're able to use something called mixed reality. Now, pause for a second and think, have you ever heard of that term before? And if you have, amazing. You must have a very technical background because most people have never heard of it before. What is mixed reality? Well, we've all heard of virtual reality probably because it's everywhere in the media now and there are so many games that use virtual reality. And in virtual reality, you are completely immersed in this new world. So if you're playing a game with mixed reality, you are completely transported into that world to the point where sometimes you even wear headphones. So all you can hear is the sound effects that is coming from this world. And if you were to be wearing a virtual reality headset, you were to walk forward, you could hit into things. You could bump into your family or your friends or even a wall or fall off a chair. And there are a number of cases of people doing that. So you cannot see the real world. And then we have augmented reality. Now, some people might have heard of augmented reality, but a lot of you have definitely used it, even if you didn't realize. Augmented reality is where the real world, so you can still see the real world when you're using augmented reality, but it's kind of warped or something has been changed or edited in this real world. So apps that use filters, apps that allow you to add dog ears to yourself, all of them are using augmented reality or especially the ones that you can still see your face, but something changes on your face. It makes your face look a little bit longer or your eyes a little bit bigger. All of that is augmented reality because it's editing what it can really see. Mixed reality is more powerful than both of these, which is why you have probably never heard of it, because it's mostly being used in the workforce. So it is where you wear a headset, such as our HoloLens that you can see in the pictures that are on the screen, and you can completely see the entire world around you, but you can bring in 3D objects, similar to the ones that we're going to be creating today. So you're able to bring in your desktop and you'd be able to click into files, click into documents and open different things. You're able to open up images, watch videos, just as if you are sitting on your couch and you can just have it open. It's as powerful as that because it is an entire computer in this one headset. You're also able to bring in, as I said, 3D objects. And my first time using mixed reality, what I did was I brought in 30 dogs that's all I did. I brought in 30 dogs and they were all running around me and I could hear them barking, but no one else in the room could hear it. They could just see me petting this virtual dog that wasn't actually there in reality, but it was in my mixed reality, mixing the virtual and the real world. So that's what we're going to be doing today in Paint 3D. And it is a really powerful piece of technology. So that means we're going to have to be patient if some things take a little bit of time to load, that's okay. Nothing is wrong with the application or your device. It's just that it is a really powerful piece of technology. So 
let's jump into this and get started with our creative project. OK, so if you are using a Windows 10 device, all you have to do is click on type to search and you can just look up Paint 3D. And this is what the icon looks like up here. So I'm just going to open up the app. OK, so when you open it up, it's going to look something like this and it'll prompt you to create a new project, open a previous one or paste in one that you've created before. So I'm going to start a new project today. OK, and once it opens up into a new project, it shows this is our platform here and this is our blank canvas over here to the left and we have some things that we can draw with on the right. So similar to normal paint, if you've used that application before, you're able to get a marker and you can just draw on your page. You can get different types of pens, different type, types of brushes um, and it also has one of my favorite things is the paint bucket or the fill option where you can just fill spaces that are already there. So I'm going to click on my eraser, make it quite thick so that I can just clear all of what I just drew there away. And you're also able to, if you go down here, change what type of paint it is, which is an interesting thing that we haven't probably seen before. You're changing the texture of the paint. So it can be matte, which means that it's just dull and flat. It can be glossy, which means it'll obviously have shine, a dull metal or a polished metal. So that's obviously to give the illusion that your object is metal. And then you can create paints and there's, there's a number of things there that you are probably used to seeing. But as I said, we're using mixed reality today, which brings in 3D objects. So if we look up here to the top on the bar up here, there are two options that give 3D. So there's 3D shapes and there's a 3D library. And we're going to be using both of them today. So I'm going to click into 3D shapes first. And if I go over here, it gives us the option to draw our own 3D object. It also gives us the option to place in created shapes, so cones, cylinders, spheres. And it also gives us the option to bring in a 3D model. So I did say that we are going to be using our creative skills today and we need to be as creative as possible. So I think what we can do is maybe drawing our own one is will take a little bit too long for our video, but we could get a 3D model and then add some features to it. So as I said earlier on, I love dogs. I am always very happy to bring in dogs to my mixed reality universe. Um, so I am going to click on the dog model and place one on my canvas. And immediately there, you can see that I have a little dog suddenly on my canvas. And if I click on him, it gives me a number of different options. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make my dog a little bit bigger, okay? And I'm going to try and create my dog at home, okay? My dog at home is called LV, but I'm going to call our dog here Spot, okay? So Spot, this is Spot. And the options are this one over to the left, we can move forwards and backwards, okay? So we can move them forwards and backwards into our canvas. Don't think that one's really needed right now. If I go over to the right, we're able to move it we're able to twist the dog around, okay? If I do this one on the top, I'm able to rotate him sideways. And if I use this one on the bottom, I'm able to completely turn it around like this. And this is where you are able to see that it is a 3D shape, not just a 2D image. You can see that there is his little face, his little tail, the little, little feet um, off my little dog Spot. Spot isn't blue. But is white with black and brown spots on them. Okay, so I can see over here that I can edit the color. Okay, and I choose. Okay, but I said that it, that spot has is white with black and brown spots. So that's more than just one color. So I can get them white, which is a starting point. But then I want to add in that more detail. 
So I'm going to go back to my brushes section and I'm going to draw on some of these features. Now today I will be using the surface pen to draw out my features on my little dog here, but you can use the touchpad or the mouse, whichever you have available. Or if you're using a touchscreen device, you can actually just draw on it as well. So whatever you have available. Okay, so I said that Spot had black spots. So I'm going to add, click on my marker, and then I clicked on black, and I'm going to start drawing some little spots. Okay, now. There's two ways I can do this. I could color them in myself like I'm doing right now. Or if you remember earlier on, I said that I have a favorite tool on this page and that favorite tool is the paint option or the fill, the paint bucket. So if I click on that, I can just click on the little spot that I did and it'll change the color. Unless you make the mistake that I just did and you don't click the spot, you click the outside, it'll get rid of all of your beautiful spots. But if you see up in the top right hand corner, you can see undo and that'll undo the last action. OK, so. I can now see that when I click to fill in that spot, it's filling in the entire dog. So there must be a break in the circle. So I'm going to rotate him around. And I can see that there is a little bit of a break there. So. I'm going to actually just rub out this spot and draw it again. So for that fill um, option to work, it needs to be a completed circle because basically what you're doing is you're pouring the paint bucket into that shape. So if in real life you had a circle and there was a little bit of a gap in the circle, if you poured something into that, the paint would start pouring out of it. It wouldn't stay in that circle. Whereas if you had a complete circle with no gaps in it, no breaks in it, you pour it in and it would stay there. That's what we need to keep in mind when we're drawing these circles. So I'm gonna draw a circle there. That looks like it's more full, perfect. Now I'm gonna add some brown spots as well. Okay. Make sure I choose the marker and not the paintbrush. Okay. Now I've added on some spots to my spot. Okay, and I'm going to fill them in using the paint tool. Okay, now my only thing that I notice about my spot here is if I turn them around like I just did there, I can notice that I've just drawn spots on one of one of his sides. My poor spot doesn't have spots on the other side. So you need to keep that in mind because this is a 3D creation. So you need to add in those details to every side. So I'm going to quickly draw just some little spots, some bigger spots even, around here. Okay, and then we need to get to the scary part of this, which is drawing face. Okay. So as you can see, I am just doing this really quickly, but hopefully you at home, you would take the time to be nice and neat with whatever details you are adding to your animal or whatever you decided to create. Okay, so now that I have spots all over my puppy here, I am going to look at his face. Okay, so there's a little bit of an issue here spot is a little bit sideways, but that's okay. I think we'll be able to, to work it out. Okay, so this is where it gets hard. I'm going to try and draw some little eyes. Some little eyes. Okay, and I'm just going to, I'm actually just going to draw a little nose. Okay, because my puppy at home is so cute. I definitely wouldn't be doing him any justice if I tried starting to draw him myself. And my puppy also has a little black spot on his ear, his left ear. Okay, right. So here is my creation. Okay, so this is my, my creation that I just took a blank canvas and I was able to create this. Now that, this isn't, 
this isn't the last thing that you can do in paint. This is just the beginning. We said that we were going to be working with mixed reality today. So if I look up here, I can see that there is a mixed reality view and there is a 3D view. OK, so let's look at the 3D view first. OK, so it just shows us that this is a 3D object that we're working with. Kind of boring. You're able to zoom in and out. Not really anything cool. But let's click on this mixed reality option. And this may take a few minutes to load because, as I said, you are bringing this virtual object into the real world. So just be patient with it if it does take some time. OK, so you can now see that Spot has been teleported into the real world. Now, what I've done is this is not what, what my room actually looks like. Um, I have put a little backdrop behind my computer so that I would be able to place Spot into a backdrop. So I can now see that Spot has been placed there. But that's he, he's quite small up there and um, kind of floating in the sky. So I want I want to place him somewhere else. So what you have to do is right now, the 3D image is just there. You need to place them. You need to get them to sit down somewhere. So I'm going to click on the bottom there and you'll be able to hear a little clicking noise. and I'm able to place him right there. And now if I wanted to, I'd be able to take a picture. I'd be able to record a video. So I'm going to just take a very quick picture. OK, and that's a, that picture is now saved to my gallery, as you can see down here in the bottom right hand corner. And we're going to be working with that later on. But I want to show you another option. So if I turn off mixed reality, I'm able to change some things about the environment. So if I wanted to change where the shadow was, I'd be able to move where the light is hitting him. So you can see there that the shadow is moving around. I'd also be able to change a number of different things. But now when I turn mixed reality back on, there's this little option in the bottom right hand corner that I want to show you. So I'm going to place spot down and then I'm going to click on this option. Now, these give you the option to bring your 3D object to life so that they're not just sitting there. I know spot looks beautiful sitting there on the grass, but I want it to look a little bit more lively. So I know that my dog definitely jumps around a lot, especially when he's on grass. So I'm going to click on jump and turn. So now our, my spot is jumping around in a cor in, on the grass. There's also options for a turntable. So if you wanted to create something and just show off how brilliant it was, you could put it on a turntable. OK, there's also a swing option. Which is just swinging back and forth, which also would kind of look like a dog, especially when your dog's very happy and it's wagging its tail. And I also have hover. OK, so this one's actually quite fun. If you were to place this dog in the front facing camera, you'd be able to put him on your hand. So let's try that now and see if it works. There we go. OK, so now I can have I've spot and spot is just floating up above me right now. Definitely doesn't look like a real dog. But if I put my hand out and I place on my hand, I'm able to have spot floating on my hand. And I'd also be able to get him to jump and turn, which is what I said my spot would do. And he reacts as I move my hand as well, which is very cool. If I were to move the camera closer to me, you'd be able to zoom in on spot and inspect him and give him a nice little pet as well. So that is my little spot there. Let's bring him back to the grass. Right. So that's the cool things that you can do when you are creating a 3D, a 3D shape. But I did say that you that there were ones already created for you already in Paint 3D. So I'm going to click out of this now and I'm going to go to 3D library. OK, and in 3D library, there are some preloaded creations for you already. So there's flowers, there's food and um, there's laptops. There's bugs, birds, loads of different things. 
But because we're going with a theme here, I'm going to click into animals. Okay, and there's some brilliant animals here. There's a clown fish and a jellyfish, but I'm going to see if they have any dogs. Okay, so I see a Labrador I just went by. Yeah. Okay, so let's, oh no, sorry, it's Labrador Retriever. Okay, I need to be specific with these things. Okay, and I'm going to bring in my Labrador and I'm going to place my Labrador over to one side and Spot over to another. Okay, and while I'm here, I'm actually going to make sure that Spot is sitting. Nice and straight, because uh, when we were in mixed reality view, you could see that it's a little bit tilted, and that was because we were messing with these features a second ago. And I get everything to zero. Okie dokie. Okay, get that one to 15, that's okay. Okay, and now I'm able to look at my dog here, and the detailing on this dog is significantly better than my little creation over here, but that's okay. And now I'm going to click on mixed reality and bring both of them into the real world. So I can actually have two items. You can have a number of different items if you wanted to in your, your world that you're creating. And I'm gonna place them here and it almost looks as if they're running after each other, okay? And I'm going to then, I'm going to take a picture of them. Okay, so I've taken two pictures now of my one of Spot on its own, um, and then another with Spot, and Spot then has a friend. There is an option over here to turn on a timer if you wanted to. So if you wanted to actually add in some stop motion or add in your own characters for them to interact with, you could. You could turn on the timer and then run in front of the camera and do that as well. Okay, so now that we've explored Paint 3D and the different options that are available, let's jump into Video Editor. So I'm actually going to click out of this. I'm going to just minimize this because I might want to come back to my creations later on. And now I'm going to go into video editor. Okay, and it looks like that icon. Okay, and I'm just gonna click on new video project in the top left hand corner. So I'm going into a new project and I'm going to name this video, but and his friends. Okay. Well, as I said, I'm basing this on my, my puppy at home. You don't have to, you could create whatever you would like. Okay, so now we're in video editor. I've named my video and now I need to add in things to edit. So we took two pictures there now, which means we can bring those in. So I'm going to click on add up here to this library. Add from my PC, because I took them on my PC. And now I need to look for my pictures, okay? You can see they're in my camera roll. And I'm going to bring in, I took three images. So I'm going to bring in all three of them, okay? So if I just click on one, it will only bring in one. But if I hold down the shift key on my keyboard, I'm able to highlight all three of them and bring them all in together. That's a little trick for you, especially if you've loads of images or videos that you're bringing in. Okay, so I have three images here. I have the one off Spot on his own. Okay, and I am going to bring it down. So down here, this is called the storyboard. So it is basically the media that you want to bring into your video. So you have to drag down the pieces of media that you want. So I just dragged it down there. I clicked on it, held down my mouse and dragged it down to the bottom and placed it in my storyboard. And now it's just loading up on my video here on the right hand screen. So when it's doing that, let's look at the different options and buttons that are available here in video editing. So this is obviously where the video will play while I'm editing it. 
I'll be able to pause it and play it and skip back, skip forward. I'm also able to make it full screen, which would be brilliant if we're testing out particularly a long video. I'm able to add a title card. OK, so that's going to come in useful today because we're going to tell a story of Spot. We're going to tell Spot's story. So the title card will be important to introduce people to what our story is called or what our story is going to be about. Then we have duration. So that is how long it appears for. So if you're using images, it might be a good idea to make them a short duration so that they're quick and snappy. Or if it's a really detailed image, it might be better to have it longer. So it's completely up to you. You can add in text. This would be if you wanted to add in, you could add in subtitles if you wanted to. You could add in labels to an image that you had up, or you could just have it introducing different characters. Completely up to your creation there. There's motion. Okay, so we're going to have to explore that one because that's not as self explanatory or as easy to understand as the other ones. There's 3D effects. Okay, um, there's filters. So you're, that must be just to filter the images. And then there's remove or show black bars. So that'll be if you're editing images that are bigger than your screen or smaller than your screen. You're able to rotate images and then you're able to delete or delete any videos. OK, so that kind of seems like they're all cool things that we can add to our video later on. Up the top, we also have the option to add in background music. We have an option to add in custom audio and then we can finish our video up here. OK, so let's add in. We have our first video here. Let's try and add in our second one. Second picture of Spot and his friend. OK, so you can see Spot is here. And then after three seconds, it shows Spot and his friend. OK, so and then I have another image here, and I think that's it. that's one without Spot's face. Spot doesn't have a face in that picture, so we can take that one out. So we showed you, I just showed you there that if I click on it, hit the bin over here, I can delete an image. OK, so as I said, we want to tell a story of Spot. So before we write our story or create a story, like every good author or anyone who writes a story does, you need to plan out what we're going to say. OK, so I think it's going to be a short story. And I think we can just say that this is Spot. Spot is out on an adventure. Spot meets a new friend and Spot has a lot of fun. Very, very short, not really that good of a story, but I think we'll be able to create that. So. I've added one picture and I have two pictures. Maybe we could create another one. So I'm going to click back into Paint 3D. And I'm going to get another one of Spot and his friend. Except I'm going to just make them a little bit bigger. So what I did there was I highlighted Spot and then I held down that shift key again and I was able to highlight um, my Labrador over in the side and I could make both of them bigger. OK, it's another option you can do over here. It's called multi select. Now I'm going to go into mixed reality. I'm going to take another picture and this time, actually this time I might take a video and have them both jumping around, doing the jumping and turning action that I saw, the animation that we can add. OK, so now you can see them here. They're in my little my little background that I have placed. I'm going to place them down here. OK, and I said that I wanted to record a video, so I'm going to click on video mode. And I said that I wanted to have them hovering. So we said that to get that feature on, you need to turn mixed reality off to see all of the settings in here. Um, I think all of the shadows and everything are OK. And then I'm going to turn mixed reality back on. We can see that we already have our quick animations have suddenly appeared in our bottom right hand corner. I'm going to place them there. Turn on hover, I think is the best one because it looks as if they're bouncing. And then I'm going to hit record and I'm going to have them bouncing along. So I'm going to be clicking them along as if they're moving across the across the grass. 
Okay, and I'm going to stay silent for this because I want to add in music and some audio afterwards. So I don't want to have to be editing out audio from the video. Okay, so three, two, one. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that video. Um, I'm now going to bring it into video editor and start on my editing. Okay, so I'm just gonna open back up video editor and I'm now going to add in that video that I just recorded. So I'm going to hit add from my PC and I'm going to choose this one, okay? Now I'm going to do what I said that I was going to do um, with the other pieces of media. I drag them down to my storyboard and I can press play and see if I'm happy with it as it is or if I need to edit any pieces out. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with that. They look as if they're hopping along it's not the smoothest but i think i'm okay with it for now okay so what our video is at the moment is we have three seconds at the beginning of spot okay and then we have spot and his friend and then we have spot and the friend having fun so let's use some of these cool effects that we have at the bottom we're done with paint 3d for now so i'm just going to shut that down in the background Okay, because we're happy with it. I've saved that project and now I'm just, just focusing on video editor. So I'm going to add in a title card first. Okay, and it automatically plopped it in here, but that's okay. I'm just going to click and drag and bring it to the very beginning. And what do I want on my title card? Well, I want some text. Okay, and suddenly I have these options of different types of text. I can choose where I want the text. Okay, so I want it right in the middle because I want everyone to know that this is the story of Spot and his friend. His new friend. Okay. Well, we put in a little smiley face. Okay, and now let's look through some of these options. Okay, so that's big and bold there. We have a fresh option. Okay, impact, cartoon, pixel. Oh, I like that one. Electric, chilled, and fine print. Okay, hmm, I think I'm gonna go with pixel. It's giving me Make Code Arcade vibes. Um, and I'm going to press, actually, I'm not a big fan of that background. So I'm gonna click on background up here and I'm gonna make it a black background. Okay. And yeah, I think I'm happy with all of that. Now I'm going to press done. And I'm just going to press play from the beginning to see what that looks like. So three seconds of Spot and his friend. I'm very, very happy with that. And then I have Spot here. And I have Spot and his friend and then I have the video. So I want to add in some music. So I'm going to click on background music okay and I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn down the volume because I know that it is always quite loud okay let's click on some of these options hmm. okay let's find that we think is going to be good for our spot I think I like that one because it's giving me almost Toy Story vibes. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that one. I am going to turn it down a little bit though. And then I'm going to press done. Okay, and I'm going to press play and see what that's like. Okay, 
Okay, so it's added the music to the entire background. So do, do, do. I want to, first of all, I, I'm able to turn it up a little bit. That's okay. Now. Okay, but at the moment, nobody really knows what's happening. I mean, I, I really love that that there but let's add in some custom audio okay so here is where you're able to record your own pieces of audio and add them in so i'm going to go back down here and i'm going to go to voice recorder because i know that there is a voice recorder on um, windows 10 devices i'm going to click in here and i'm going to record my new you can see that i've already recorded something called puppy i'm going to record a new piece of audio um, and I'm just going to say that meet Spot. This is Spot. While he was out for a walk the other day, he bumped into a new friend and he bumped into another puppy and they became best friends. I think that's all I'm going to say. Here is Spot. So this is our little friend who went out for a walk, bumped into another puppy and now they're best friends. Okay, I'm going to play that back to see if I'm happy with it. Here is Spot. So this is our little friend who went out for a walk, bumped into another puppy, and now they're best friends. Okay, so it's a little bit loud, but I think we are okay with that. Um, I'm going to just chop the beginning of that there. I'm going to update, and now I'm going to save this. So I am going to rename it as Spot and friend, and now I know that it is saved. So I'm now going to click on add the audio file. Okay, and I'm going to go to my documents, my sound recordings, because I know that's where it saves. And I'm gonna click on spot and friend, open up, and now I'm able to place where I want to have this audio. So I want it to come in. First of all, I want it to turn on the volume. So I can click on the volume up here and just turn it down just a little bit. And I want it to come in when the title screen goes away. Okay, which is actually it's in the perfect place there. And then I want it to kind of fade out then. That's okay, perfect. You can fade out then. That's absolutely perfect. And then the music will keep going. So let's press play and see if we're happy with that volume. Our little friend. Okay, so we need to turn up the volume a little bit because it's now we have the music in the background. So here is Spot. So this is our little friend who went out for a walk, bumped into another puppy, and now they're best friends. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with that. I'm going to press done. Okay, so now I've added in all of my music. Let's see what these other edits can do. So I have an option to trim the video clip or to split it into two separate clips. So if I wanted to just edit one or the other. So I don't need to do that because I'm happy with it. I'm going to click on text. I'm actually going to add in some text to this one. And I wanted to add in at the beginning of the video. So I want to have it at the very beginning. And I want to say this. Oh, hold on. Spot and his friend went for a walk. Okay, and I wanna look at the different options now at the bottom. So I can have it up at the top, have it to the right, have it quite big down at the bottom or over there, sorry, to the left or to the right. So I'm gonna put up the top. B and now they're best friends. I might have it come in actually after when the audio finishes. So that's about there. Okay, so I now say that Spot and his new friend went for a walk. Done. And then I'm going to add in another piece of text to say that they had lots of fun. Okay. Spot and his friend went for a walk. See if I can add in 
I can add in, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something different. I'm going to add in another copy of the photo of them two together, and then I'm going to put the text on that one. They had a lot of fun exploring the wolf, <laughs> the forest together. And I'm still happy with that font and I'm okay with it up at the top. Okay, but for that last one, I actually think I might change the duration of it because it doesn't need to be up for that long and I'm going to change it to two seconds. Okay, now let's go back to looking at our cool, the cool options here. So we've now done duration, text, we've edited it and there's motion. So let's click on motion and see what we can do. So we can zoom into different areas. So I'm actually going to test some of these out and see what happens. Here is spot. So this is our. OK, so we can. Here is spot. Zoom in. Here is spot. So this is our. OK, so there's a few different options there. You can zoom in, zoom out, zoom into the center. Hold on. Here is spot. So this is our. I think I am actually going to add in that feature. I'm going to zoom into the left and it's almost as if we're zooming into Spot because Spot's the important character. I'm going to press done. Okay, so now we have that one added in. Now let's see 3D effects. So I'm excited about this one. Let's see what effects are ready. It's just, they're just going to load up now for us. Okay, so once you load up the 3D effects, we're able to add in some really cool things. We're able to add in some autumn leaves, there's bubbles, there's butterflies, confetti, dust, explosion. Okay, I'm going to let you explore the rest of them. And I'm gonna go with butterflies. I think I'm gonna add in some butterflies. So I'm gonna click on them and they've automatically been placed into my been placed into my video. I'm going to see what they look Here like. Here is Spot. So this is our... Okay, that was a lot. <laughs> a lot just happened. So it also adds in music. So I'm going to turn that volume down to, to quite low so that we can't really hear it. Here is Spot. So this is our... Okay, I'm happy with that. I like that. Um, I'm going to press done on that one. And I'm going to add in another effect to maybe the second picture. And this time I'm going to add in some autumn leaves because even though I know it's not autumn, um, we'll be able to make that effect as if it is autumn. And I'm going to turn that volume down again because I know that there's some sort of sound effect associated with them. And out for a walk, bumped in. Okay, I'm happy with that as well. So, now, let's play our video right from the beginning. I'm going to put it up full screen. Here is Spot. So this is our little friend who went out for a walk, bumped into another puppy, and now they're best friends. Okay, I really like that video. I think it's doing quite well. And the last thing that we have to add in is check the filters and see if we want to add in any filters. I think I'm actually okay with how all of our images look, but if you did want to add in some filters, they're all there. You can make them black and white. You can make, you can add different effects um, as if you had them on your camera. Okay, so now once I have my video done and I am perfectly happy with it, I've watched it a few times, make sure I'm happy with it. I'm going to click finish video. Okay, and this will give you the option to choose the quality of your video. Now, I do want it to be the highest quality because I always want it to be nice and high quality. I'm going to hit export and then it'll give me the option to choose where I want to save it. Okay, so I'm just going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to call it Spot and His new friend okay 
I'm going to export and then while it's exporting, there are a few things that I'm missing here. A really important thing that you should add to every single movie, like every movie and TV show that you've ever watched, is they have credits at the end. So I should have added in a credit scene at the end and how I would have done that was, was by using a title card. But we're stuck for time today, so make sure to keep that in mind when you are com doing completing your challenges at home. OK, so while when this finishes exporting, it's going to pop up and start playing the video on my computer. OK, so it seems ready. And now it's popped up there and there's our video. OK, here is Spot. So this is our little friend who went out for a walk, bumped into another puppy and now they're best friends. Okay, so I'm just going to click out of my video now because I'm happy with that. I can share it with my friends if I want to. Um, but for now, let's talk about what we learned for today. Okay, so we went through a lot of content today. We learned about mixed reality and how it differs from virtual and augmented reality, how it is the merging of the real world and the virtual world. It combines both of them together to allow you to do some spectacular things and how it's helping a lot of people in their real jobs, such as architects are able to build their creations and then see them in 3D form. Inter interior designers are able to move virtual pieces of furniture around a room instead of physically having to move furniture around. Surgeons are able to have the vitals of their patients in front of them without having to touch anything. We learned a lot about mixed reality and how it is affecting the world around us. We also got to bring our own 3D creations to life. So we learned that you can draw in 3D, not only 2D on a piece of paper, but by using Paint 3D, we're able to create 3D images that we can then bring into the real world. And then we learned about video editing and how to create your own video or little movie like we did with Spot and his friends. So that's all we have time for today. The last thing really is just to talk about the home challenges. So. With this series, we have three projects for you. So this is what it is in short form, but if you check the Sway, you will see that there are three separate projects in detail given out to you. First one is to tell a story through pictures using your 3D creations and building your character is part of that one as well. Then we record a movie trailer for your summer. Okay, and then we record your very own movie. So that's where you are be, you are able to use all of your creativity, create your own story, your own characters, everything to make your own movie. So as I said, check out the Sway to see all of those, um, all of those challenges and projects in more detail. That is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining in with this video. I hope you had fun being creative with me and thanks for watching us and supporting Dreamspace. Bye everyone.